Costa Rica, the first international freedom spectrum racing championships. Top pilots from around the globe face off for the first time, but there's a problem. One drone has a malfunctioning video system that's blasting high power signal, corrupting the video feed of the other racers. Tony Cake, the head of Immersion RC, happens to be witnessing this historic race and makes his way from the broadcast area to the race line. He's equipped with Immersion RC's power meter, the only affordable solution to measure the output power of a video system. High dollar, more precise equipment can cost tens of thousands of dollars and take up quite a bit of space. But when the race is literally on the line, something that can be tossed in a bag and is affordable is key. Tony was able to diagnose the malfunctioning drone, allowing the race to continue. John here, guys, and today we're talking about Immersion RC's power meter. This is the tool that you can use if you suspect that your video system's not putting out the right power that it should be or that it could be, or if you're flying with someone and they're swearing that you are blasting them out of the sky because your video is set to too high, this is how you can prove your innocence. It's one of Lamone's favorite tools. In fact, his is actually signed by Tony Cake, the man himself at Costa Rica when we were there for that race with Minchan. I actually bought him one and we're gonna surprise him with it tonight with the new version and see what he thinks and hopefully he can teach me how to use it so we're gonna put this little temperature reader on the butthole of everyone's drone here and see what it says okay let's go surprise Yvonne with this thing we've disqualified hundreds of people with this yeah actually disqualified a pilot with uh, TBS yeah. 69 it was a pilot with two quads <laughs> both TBS 69 and both were overpowered we won't tell you who it was but yeah. Tony did it himself he sprung into action and then he signed it here is the new version oh, just for that. you yes yeah, so I got me? one for me thank you one for Lamone yeah and he's gonna show me how to use it now we can measure the shit out of everyone did I just say shit all right yeah. <laughs> the one thing I did learn is that when you need it measure if someone's blasting the first thing you need to tell them is pull their pants down yeah you just put it like this and like put your pants down <laughs> you know rector thermometer or something yeah that's cool thank you the immersion rc power meter v2 so if you have the red one this is basically the same thing with just a change of the antenna the unit itself is the same it just has a different color and different packaging inside the packaging you get this little rubber ducky as well as this adapter that you can put directly onto an sma the function of how you use it is exactly the same you turn it on you set approximately your channel. I'm gonna be checking R7, which is actually 5880, uh, but these go in 50 increments. So 5900 would be the closest. So we're gonna use that and I'm gonna have it on the average mode. So we're gonna go into this couple other modes that you can do like a Scully race mode. And that will give you a baseline calibration like this. If you use this mode, then anything that goes above the average once you calibrate it to a VTX. But I'm just going to be using the average mode with milliwatts will actually be in that little one right there. So I'm going to plug in this open racer. As you can see, it's pretty banged up and so is this antenna because we've been flying at the night spot. I'm just going to check to see if it's still reading okay. It has the ghost hybrid board. Then I'm going to go ahead and actually turn my VTX on because this is using ghost. So this is my VTX on switch. So now it's on. I'm going to put the rubber ducky kind of right there so i'm getting 18 milliwatts according to yvonne you read it down here but i get about the same reading here as i do at where these little lines are if i go right at the top 24 if i go right at the side 24 so this is right about perfect uh, this is the ghost hybrid board and that's how you use this thing it's a quick measurement in the field so you don't have to be a racer to want to use a tool like this if you're freestyling and you're going to send your quadrant on important mission or long range you really want to double check your video transmitter before you send it out there 25 milliwatts exactly 28 30 right there this is set to 25 because i was actually freestyling on the racetrack the other day uh, but if i had higher output you'd want to double check that as well 
pretty nice and easy tool. It's under a hundred bucks, something that you're just gonna wanna keep in your bag, whether you're flying digital, analog, racing, freestyling, long ranging, or you're gonna send this for a paid job. Always check your video equipment, especially if there's money on the line, especially if there's only one shot that can make it. You don't wanna have an issue in your video system that you're unaware of. And one of the things you can do, in addition to doing a test flight, is confirm it with one of these. It can just live in your bag at all times. You ever had a very expensive quad that you needed to send on a specific important mission, whether to record something very unique that you wouldn't have a second shot at, or just not want to lose your quad because your video was going out. Well, how do you know for sure if it's healthy or not? You can test that with the Immersion RC power meter. This thing allows you to test your VTX and antenna strength to know if one of those components in your video system is dying or not. Here comes the most professional video tester. Johnny F5 here, guys. Nice. And not like this, it should be like this, and then you kind of go around. And then when it's 25 milliwatts, this will show you exactly 25 milliwatts. Sometimes like 35 or something. Mm. But good VTXs, you know, like Ghost hybrid boards, they show 25 milliwatts exactly like that. Yeah. And with different antennas, you kind of need to play around um, and see where, you know, because with this antenna, it's like it has null here. So if you like put it here, it will probably show zero or something uh, like this, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is the most like strong part of the antenna and that's where you put it. With smaller antennas, you need to be a little bit farther away. I yeah, like this drone, what is that? Open Racer Pro. Yeah, really? Is it Open yeah. Racer? Damn, yeah, that's a nice frame. Yeah. The HD Zero version is coming soon. It just so happened this night we had a real life argument over whose video was too high after people complained of bad video. Let's see who was at fault. I'm not touching my fucking sticks. I have bad video, so if I'm not 200, you guys can do both of those All right, you are 260. Say that again? All right, this is a part. Uh, he's blasting. Oh, remember I told you to go to 200, but maybe you forgot to bring it that so back we gotta, down. So we got to blame Jenny Fife for that? Well, I mean, it's yeah. his quad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Walk up Neil always has bad antennas. You're all right, a little bit overpowered, but it's like 50, 40 milliwatts. 50? Oh, shit. Yeah. No, well, you know, this is not very precise thing, so. Uh, Sam, where you are? Sam, where's your quad? What's oh, yours at? I'm dead on, like, well, 20 milliwatts. Oh, because you got that good antenna. Yeah. Fox your lollipop well, before. He's measuring his own shit. Yeah. Well, let's, let's well he said really his was the hard most hard. precise. I don't believe I was like 200. Was Neil's is always like low. Why is yours always low, Neil? I'm trying to work on my Jedi skills. Oh, no, look at, look at that antenna. Yeah, that's is. why. <laughs> Just working on my Jedi skills. That's uh, why. You don't really need to see that much. You can't see. There's nothing to see on analog anyway. You can't anyway. feel it. You can't fly it, man. <laughs> Something was going on. What happened? What you got? Joe was blasting. I was good. I'm he good. said he was on 260. Oh, wow. Joe's on 260. What do so, you think about that, Sam? Man, we at the nice spot. I think that's a violation. I might have to disqualify Mr. Joe Mama for that. <laughs> disqualify? <laughs> he my boy. Like so I can't do it, though. Why? Uh -oh. HD Zero's blasting. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute, Johnny. Now you... It's like 150, 200. Oh, wow. Uh... So we got about 300 milli extra milliwatts blasting at us yeah. 25 yeah. milliwatt wow. guys. Y'all see this? And you think about that. Yvonne loves to pull out his power meter at the <laughs> night spot anytime we suspect. We did have a DRL pilot flying a Racer 4 that was blasting 500 milliwatts. It was not cheap. No, not me. My Racer 4 is on Ghost. Appreciate you. I kept crashing all night. I was like, what is going on? Who is it? Yeah. Who's it? When's the last time you did an actual power check at a race, Tony? It's been a while. It's been a while. It still works. Yeah. Yeah, this is. He it's officially scully mode. It. The most precise testing you can get from the man himself. The fastest ghost pilot on the planet. <laughs> oh, I need to bring yeah, my ghost, bring right? Your yeah. Ghost. <laughs> uh, we're like, it can't be that guy. Right? <laughs> Where's your radio? Whoa. Whoa. Don't be any radio. <laughs> What's up? Get antennas. Get antennas. He takes it out. This is actually. The very first ghost module you sent me, like before which, Chan. Which is one of the first. Yeah. Mm. I should probably send you a backup. I have one, don't worry. Okay. You already have. Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> it's in the bag. But I, I don't know, I kind of just got heart with this one. Like, I'd be nervous if I put another one in there like, oh man. Is that one? This one have a little additive? Did I spill the right coffee on this one? Or oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm telling you the coffee. You 
Can you take a picture of that one? Yeah, thank you. Can I go in the middle? Of you awesome people. I guess. Dude. Beware of this okay. of this man. Man Chan, put up number one. Because he went. Yeah. Yeah, 15. Alright. 